Nothing New, Part 2. Last week, I talked about how the devil uses distraction to keep us away from God. And this week, I'm going to talk about um, another tactic that he uses that is nothing new. Um, and it's going to be in Luke chapter 4. Um, Jesus was actually tempted by the devil and he was tempted in the wilderness. So he didn't have anyone around him. It was just him and the Holy Spirit and then the devil. And the devil was tempting him these 40 days. And uh, verses 3 to 4, I'll go ahead and read those. It says, the devil said to him, oh, so let me tell you this. At the end of the 40 days, Jesus was fasting this whole time. And at the end of the 40 days, he was hungry. And this is when the devil shows up to tempt him even more. Uh, it says in verse three, the devil said to him, if you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone. The devil waited for Jesus to actually get hungry and then he tempted him to feed his flesh. He also tempted him with something to prove when he made the statement of, if you are the son of God. So that's another way that the devil likes to tempt us, which is, and keep us away from God, which is nothing new by temptation and by us feeling as if we have something to prove. Verses five to eight. It says the devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. In this situation, the devil was tempting Jesus in regards to and, and trying to get him away from God, which is nothing new, um, by offering him status and material things. In verses 9 to 12, it says the devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. One of the things that I want to point out is that the devil started to use God's word against God. And there are situations where the devil knows the scriptures better than we do. And all I'll say about that is, is it doesn't have to stay that way. We can learn the scriptures and we can learn how to use those very same scriptures against him just like he tried to do with Jesus. In uh, that situation, though, he went back to tempting Jesus with something to prove because he said, if you are the son of God. Verse 13, I want to uh, read that. And it says, when the devil had finished all this tempting, he left him until an opportune time. When the devil leaves us alone, just know that he's coming back for a more opportune time. Again, this is nothing new that he uses to keep us and try to keep us away from God and away from the plans that God has for us. My encouraging scripture is going to be in Romans chapter 16 and it's verses 17 to 18. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause divinations and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. 
keep away from them. For such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people.